you just run a little pencil mark down there more lines on here than the Paddington station Okay, that'll give you a good visual as well now. Put your box back on. You shouldn't have to line it up because if you've cut your uh, your cutouts accurately enough, that should fall straight on straight onto it, which I don't know if you can see it, it does. Okay. Oh, it's looking there. Looking okay. Looking okay. Okay, the next thing I shall be doing, I've, I've, I've done this, I've cut the little uh, pieces out as best I can, got them to look. Uh, something like I've just got them to look something like I've just rough rough sanded them to shape uh, with a file and I, I tidy them up a bit once I know my neck and everything else fits and then I uh, put a piezo in what I am going to do I'm going to put a piezo dead centre here where this hole is and uh, let's have a look at that the strings are run I might even enlarge that hole a little bit yet the strings are run just about on the edge there but the centre one is open to it so if I make that hole a little bit bigger uh, the piezo will be open to all three strings which you won't get an imbalance in the sound which I don't actually think you'd get anyway but I don't know so that, that's so, that's something else to think about when you're doing it because you know I'm, I'm thinking totally off the cuff here I might be talking a load of crap I don't really know but I, I would prefer if I'm going to have an open piezo there I would prefer all three strings to have the same air gap if you like or the hole to have the same air gap so it actually encases the uh, the whole three strings just in case it does pick up slightly more off the uh, off the centre string That's the plan, and that's going to be a 24 and 3 quarter inch. I always check twice. I always check twice. Doesn't matter if you've done one or a thousand. I always check twice. That's 24 and 3 quarters. Okay. So once I've cut this groove in, and I've 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 set I've set the box. I can then work out the shapes, uh, the the distance I need to shape the neck at the back. You can get away without shaping them actually, or just taking the sharp edge off. You don't have to have it. You don't have to have it round, but it it would be better to at least experiment and try and get it round. But to be quite honest with you, you're just taking a a slight 45 degree off there on both sides. Um, will suffice just as much. I think the first one I bought off eBay was like that. Basically, it was slightly a narrower neck, but it wasn't even uh, it wasn't even smoothed. Um, that centre line as well that I've run down there. possibly help me if I was going to put fret markers on the centre on the face of the uh, the fretboard 
it would give you your centre point. Now the way to check that is just get your ruler, find one of your frets, one, two, three. Okay, I've got pencil marks here, you, you can't see them on there I don't think. If you now go from the the uh, the bottom of the fret marker on the fourth fret on the third fret dickhead sorry and run the line to the top of the second fret and then do it again the opposite way your cross should run and cut the line the 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 line you've run down the center should cut that cross in half so that's one two three four five let's do it on the fifth one so across from the fifth to the the, the fourth then the other way across from the fourth To the fifth okay again that's that's just half a mil out and let's go to the next one one two three four five six seven Okay, seven, eight, nine. This is only if you're going to put dot markers on, but it's a good exercise anyway. Because um, you might, you, you never know, you might have a warp in your in your neck. You shouldn't, but you might do. So we've got three, five, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's it's good enough. I, I would sooner trust them markings of the cross to be the true centre than than the other way. But yeah, that's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's not even a hair's width. So that's good. Okay, so that's that's one way of doing finding your markers finding your center of your uh, your neck I should say is putting the crosses in where the dot markers should be and then checking it against uh, your pencil mark and if if it's really out that much just start to recheck recheck everything and see where it runs That's it for now. I'm gonna have my tea now. I hope this is helping people. If it, if it isn't, just tell me. But please bear in mind it, it, it's all being made out of scrap pieces, and it's just to show people that you don't have to be a, a, a scientist or a brain surgeon to make a three-string guitar. You got a piece of wood couple of strings and a box some nails that's all you have to do you don't even have to do this you, you see a lot of guitars where they the next nail on at the top of the box like that just have a look they, they, they sell quite a lot like that that's simple it's a guitar it'll work it'll play you don't even have to have a box it'll play it'll work just as that I did make one on one of my videos where I 
made it a tight fit on the box and the neck just goes in it and that's a guitar and if you're a backpacker you can pull it out and you can put the box away and you've still got the neck which if you wanted to use as a walking stick you could do and then when you want to play it just get the neck out drop it into the slot bang it in and it, it, it stays it's not here I'd show you but it's not here I've got something similar to it this is a little diggly bow that I did in the in the same format see the neck was running right through the box on this one it's actually level again that that's 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 a simple format but is a little bit more work involved then because technically you're cutting your box in half or the lid of the box you're taking the you're taking that much of it out and then if you do that you'd have to restructure it and put uh, braces in there as well so that, that's just making it a little bit more difficult just doing this as easy as possible sorry I'm waffling on but I'm not editing this video or up to now I'm not editing this video and uh, I want you to uh, just listen to well, how, I'm, how I'm thinking it should go together there's no reason why it won't go together you don't have to have a set plan where it's all marked out for you because it's your it's what it's your idea it's what's in your head it's not somebody else's idea these are, these are all my idea I, I get me components and I don't know what I'm doing until I've done it that's why this one the box that was a, originally a, a six stringer um, when I put that together which if you've seen one of the other videos um, I didn't have enough room on the neck to screw it to the box and eventually it just started lifting lifting the neck it started to fold in on itself so I uh, I, dis I dismantled that and salvaged the box and salvaged the neck and made another another one with the neck and made a six stringer that's the, uh, the the Beatles one that you'll see I made a six stringer and that works that works well uh, I've, I've got it tuned for slide playing that one and uh, I made that awesome little uh, fretless one out of the remains of the box and this is probably one of the better ones I've made because all the gubbins in that is quite good and in fact I don't think that neck's 100% true That's, oh no it's not bad that no it's not bad This is this is the very first one. This is the very first guitar I made, and again, I I did have plans off this one because it was bought as a kit, um, and it 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 come out quite well. It come out very well actually, to be honest with you. I didn't have a clue what I was doing when I got it. I, when I first made it, I made it fretless to make life easier for me and uh, I didn't even shape the neck I reshaped the neck afterwards when I decided to put a fret uh, I put a fretboard on don't get me wrong I, I didn't put fret wires in it and then uh, as you can see by the markings on there I decided to uh, put frets in it so I shaped the neck as well and it turned out quite a nice guitar anyway I'm waffling on a bit now I'm not say I've had enough